Hey, what is up guys and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Real Talk. Today we're going to be talking about Star Wars Battlefront 2, ranking all the lightsaber wielding users. Just a side note before we begin, this is my list of my favorites and my opinions. It is not the hard truth and hard facts about every character, it is just what I think. Since there are 10 different lightsaber wielding users, this makes it very convenient for me to call this a top 10. Starting at the bottom and number 10, we have Rey. Why Rey? I just don't really find her character very enjoyable. I don't like that she has a dash attack, I think that that kind of goes against the Jedi fighting style to just charge into a room with your lightsaber pointed forward, just hoping that you can lance somebody. I think that's a ridiculous ability for a Jedi to have. Also the fact that she's like a new, young, fresh Jedi and she has a mind trick ability, which should be something that probably a Jedi Master would take years of learning the Force to be able to do, she just has in this game and I don't actually remember her ever doing this in the movie. At least not where she makes people move in opposite directions. Also she has some kind of radar where she can see through walls. It just really doesn't make sense for her character. So um, playing her character, she's, I mean, she's pretty fun to play. Like she's not a bad lightsaber wielder. She's actually one of the better ones, I would say. But um, I just can't get behind her character. Her moves just don't make any sense. It is fun to mind trick somebody into walking off a ledge. But in this stage of the game's life, her moves are pretty predictable. If you get mind tricked by her, you know that you're going to just have to move in opposite directions for a few seconds, and uh, no one really falls for it anymore. But yeah, that's why I'm ranking her at the bottom of the list. Number 9 on the list, we have Yoda. When the game came out, I played a lot of Yoda. I thought he was really fun. Right now, I don't think that he's bad. I still like to bust out some Yoda every now and again, but uh, he's just not that fun. His force push has a much shorter distance than the other force pushes in the game. His health boost is nice, but he already starts with a lot of health to begin with. His dash is fun, but it's it's almost a carbon copy of Luke's character, which is significantly better than Yoda's. The edge that I like Yoda has is that he's very small, and he's very hard to shoot at, and he's very hard to hit if you're using somebody with a gun. But I find that I play Yoda more often just because I like the way that he fights so acrobatically with his lightsaber he's just kind of fun to watch while you're playing but that doesn't really give you a competitive edge when you're too busy watching your own character to make a good decision <laughs> at number eight we have count dooku count dooku i think is the most underrated lightsaber wielding user in this game he's very good if you activate his duelist and his exposed weakness at the same time you can absolutely decimate anyone with his lightsaber in under three seconds so then why do i rank dooku so low on the list well, for one thing, his exposed weakness, uh, it's kind of hard to land. You have to be aiming right at the person that you want. Uh, you have to push the button at the right time. It all has to line up perfectly. Whereas Obi-Wan or Rey's mind trick, you, it just affects anyone in the vicinity. So if it was more like that, I think it would be better. Also, his lightning stun is a lot of fun. I think it's a great ability, but you really have to be close. And the range goes out wide and not like a further distance in front of you, which I find is pretty useless. Even though there's a card to boost that, it still boosts it only further to the left and the right of you. So the duelist ability is definitely his best ability, but it runs out very quickly. So you have to make sure that you're already in front of the person that you want to be swinging at, but you also have to go into the animation within that fine time and uh, it can go away very quickly or you're going to get killed while the animation is happening. So a lot of things just have to line up too perfectly for me to put Dooku higher up on this list. Number seven, we have General Grievous. General Grievous is a lot of fun and he's very unique. He's not like any of the other characters in this game. No one else is like him. It's a very unique experience every time you bust out Grievous. I absolutely love his swinging power. If you catch someone with their guard down, you can just destroy them with his lightsabers and you feel powerful in real life as you're doing it in this game. Obviously that much power comes with the responsibility of managing a very small amount of stamina but it feels very well worth it and well balanced. I love all of his abilities. I think that they're all super good and they all serve a different purpose at different times. And I love everything about Grievous. It's just that he's so dang buggy and he just seems to be the Achilles heel of this game. The developers have patched him and patched him and patched him and it's still just not right. There was a time when he ran pretty good and he didn't have a ton of bugs, but then they updated him again and now he's kind of buggy again. So, I don't know, he's kind of bittersweet. He's a lot of fun to play, but I'm killed way too often just by his character bugging out 
for me to consider him a better hero or villain on this list. It hurts, it hurts to put Maul not on the top half of this list. I love Maul so much. He's one of the he's one of the funnest villains to play in this game, and he always gets picked very quickly. He seems to be a favorite of everybody. All of his abilities are good, his dash is effective, it's fun to watch, his choke is incredibly satisfying to just launch somebody against a wall or into a pit to their death. His light saber throw was eh, pretty bad at launch, but it's a lot better now. It's fun and fast and aggressive, but it's not as good as Vader because your chance of hitting someone is a lot less. The main reason that Maul's sixth place on my list is simply because there are five heroes that are better than him. He's still really good, but it's just hard to deny that there are better heroes than him. Fifth place on the list is Luke Skywalker. Luke is someone who I mained at launch. I played him, he was my favorite, he was my go-to, but over time they've added more heroes and I started to play him less and less. One of the main reasons that I play him less now is just because he's so, I don't know how to say it, he's so well balanced. It's almost easy to do well with him. Every one of his abilities is good. He can just attack and attack and attack forever. He has so much stamina. You can just completely overwhelm your opponent with the amount of stamina that Luke has but he's also really fast and he's really strong. It's just the level of strategy it takes to play Luke is pretty low. And I find myself playing people that are more difficult to require a little bit more thinking. With Luke, you can just fly into battle, do a force push and start swinging at people. And that's just an effective way to play Luke. So he's fifth place because he's very good. I mean, you could argue that he's the best. I'm putting him at fifth because I've lost interest in playing him in terms of enjoyability. Now I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this choice, but I'm putting Obi-Wan at fourth. A lot of YouTubers that I've seen rank Obi-Wan very low because they don't like his abilities or they just find him boring or that he's just a, a blocking tank, but I love the way that you can play him so strategically. There's this extra level of difficulty playing him when you're up against such better options like Luke. At Obi-Wan's launch, his dash attack did the windmill, and I love that. I love that scene so much from Star Wars, I always go back and watch it. So I'm a little bit sad they got rid of it, but his new one is just as cool, how he just runs and only lifts his blade to block blaster fire. It doesn't feel as random as the windmill, it feels really exciting to do the dash every single time. And now with the latest update, you have way more accuracy in aiming, and I find it's a really good tool to actually just get a couple extra hits in. A lot of people don't use it for the damage that it can do to someone, but you can go into a group of enemies, do a bunch of damage, and then immediately go into de a defensive position. So it's really easy to sneak a couple extra hits in here and there, especially when you're stuck in a 1v1 with someone, and it just seems to be one of those cases where you're waiting to see who runs out of stamina first or who can sneak in an extra hit here and there. But with this dash attack, you can switch that up. You can dash through them, swing around, go for another hit, go into a defensive position, swing into them a couple times, back up, use your dash again. It's just, it, it, it releases a flurry of attacks if you know how to time it right. And while you can play super defensively, you don't have to. You can play Obi-Wan any way you want to. I mean, sometimes it's really helpful that he has so much stamina. You know, if you're playing 4v4 and your whole team died and you're the only one left, you can slowly dash backwards and hold off three people at once and wait for your team to respawn before you launch your next attack. And I love his charging force push. It's like Luke's is quick and fast and easy, but there's something so satisfying about charging up Obi-Wan's all the way and then launching some unsuspecting people off across the map who weren't expecting you because the reach on that charge is so much farther than people think. And if you get good at timing it, you can quickly engage the charge and release it right away and do a very quick short force push, which no one ever expects Obi-Wan to do. So it's kind of like a secret weapon you have at your disposal. And his mind trick ability is, eh, it's okay. It's not the greatest, but I enjoy Obi-Wan otherwise, so it doesn't really bother me. It can come extremely in handy, but you will never really know because you never know when someone's about to use their force ability and whether or not it works, because if it works, nothing happens, right? Okay, we've hit the top three marker. Number three, we have Anakin. Anakin, the most controversial hero to enter the game. He entered the game so stupidly good, so broken, that the Chosen One was just, it was too much for the community. Anakin would enter a room and just destroy everything in it. Now he's been nerfed, and a lot of people are mad about it, they think it was nerfed too much. I think it's fine. I think now he's a little more fair to play. It's not like one Anakin can completely ruin a game. I remember I would join a game with Nanakin and I would just get ready for my loss. <laughs> but now, now he's better, now I enjoy him. Even with his nerf, I still find him a lot of fun. And I find all of his abilities to be a lot of fun. And I like that you can play him offensively, 
or you can play him defensively you can play him strategically you know whichever way you want to play him he's got a lot of options and of course he has a fourth ability retribution that is pretty insignificant compared to what it used to be now it doesn't do a whole lot but it still feels fun it feels fun to have a fourth ability that you can uh, use if you're good enough you survive long enough you do enough damage not to mention he has some of the best taunts in the game my only beef with anakin right now is that he's still a little bit buggy sometimes his heroic might doesn't really work at number two we have kylo ren kylo ren is the funnest character in the game to play for me at least i love all of his abilities his force pull his force push you can just command the flow of a game whenever a kylo ren enters the scene he's deciding whether or not everyone on your team is going to go flying in one direction or he's going to completely freeze combat gives everybody a chance to breathe gives you a chance to reset his frenzy is still a little bit buggy sometimes you just end up going straight into the air but i still love it i just feel like i am kylo ren when i go charging at someone swinging at them when they're not expecting it man you can just shred their health and even if they're blocking you're still guaranteed at least two or three hits on them and you can use it really strategically when you want to time your frenzy with your force pull or your force push some people use up all three abilities at once sometimes you see a good kylo who will not necessarily freeze the person he wants to fight He'll free someone else who's about to get in the way and then pursue maybe the weaker link. There's a lot of different ways you can play Kylo. And I just love how mobile he is and how fast he can swing. He can pretty much outswing anybody. If you're going up against any hero, you can swing, 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 su and just play super aggressively. And the way that his lightsaber flows in the animation and just his overall presence in the game, his aggressiveness, his intimidation. I love all these aspects about him and that's what makes him the funnest hero for me to play. My absolute favorite thing to do with Kylo, and I love that you have the ability to do this with him, is pulling somebody off a ledge to their death. So you jump in the air and you pull them towards you, but where you land is not where they land. They go flying past you. They go flying into some pit or off some kind of ledge, and you turn around you freeze them in the air. So whoever you're fighting is forced to just wait through the animation of them being dangled above their death and you can just look at them that's when you hit them with a really solid taunt and then watch them fall to their death at that point they either come at you super angry or they rage quit the game and i just love that you have that power and coming in at number one we have darth vader darth vader is my favorite he's been my favorite since the game launched he's still my favorite and it's probably because darth vader is my favorite star wars character when you play Darth Vader, you just feel like you are in the game. You feel like you are Darth Vader. When you're force choking somebody, it just feels like you have that much power. And once you force choke someone, you have the ability to move them around, drop them into a pit, throw your lightsaber at them, get a couple hacks at them. And since the latest update, while you're choking somebody, could be multiple people, you're blocking blaster fire or lightsabers with your other hand. Like, it's just awesome. Yeah, his force choke is kind of broken right now. Hopefully by the time you're watching this or at some point in the future they fix his throw. Right now it just kind of stumbles people to the ground and they don't really go in the air anymore. But nonetheless, it's still one of my favorite abilities in the game. Also, his lightsaber throw is, is sweet. Like, it goes super far and it has the chance of hitting somebody on the way back. And unlike Maul's throw, it goes slower. So you have the chance to aim where it's going to hit somebody on your way back. So you could throw it one direction dash to the right and it will pull back in another direction it's not so forward straight and back it can go wherever you are so you have a little bit of options plus with his rage ability he gets a health boost and a damage boost at the same time which is something vader doesn't really need because he's already a super defensive health tank but when you get that on top of it he just feels unstoppable now he does have a lot of stamina and he can block forever so there's definitely an easy way to play Vader. If you just want to play defensively, you can block and block and block and block and block and then just wait for your choke. Get the group of people who are attacking you into a choke, throw your lightsaber at them, and then finish them off with whatever health they have left. That's a, you know, I don't really like to play that way. If I'm in a bind, maybe I'll play that way. But uh, it's too boring. I really like to play aggressively a Vader because when you are good offensively with a defensive character, it really opens up a lot of windows for playing styles. It was a close call between Vader and Kylo, but I find Kylo is just more fun, but Vader's just, he's just my favorite. Like, it's one thing to play somebody and have fun with them. It's another thing to play someone else and really get into the character. It really gets you into the game, pulls you into the universe. It's just on another level. All right, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Who's your favorite? Who do you think deserves to be higher up or lower on my list? Thanks for watching. May the force be with you.